Well, hello there, everybody. I don't know if this is going to be long, short. I don't know if it's, I'm going to get cut off because I'm still on my phone. And the reason I'm still on my phone is because I bought this stupid thing. See how my camera focuses so nice and it brings it in sharp and stuff. When I just put the item up there or when I zoom in. When you zoom in on this camera, everything's blurry. Now, if I'm doing something wrong, somebody out there knows cameras like this kind of stuff. Tell me, is it metering? Is it something else? But I tried everything. It didn't work. It's clear as a bell down here when it's looking at this stuff. But when I want to look like on my ring, it's like blurry just on this ring. So then when I zoomed in on it, I expected it to clear up. I even put my hand behind it. Nothing. So if anybody knows about this camera, otherwise it's going, it almost died tonight. Like me beating it to death. But I'm going to send it back tomorrow. But if anybody knows anything about this, any of your children, whatever, am I doing something wrong? This is it. This is the dude. This is the thing. I read it from... And it's not very big either, the destructions. I mean, it's very simple. Every camera since they made brownies and before have a focus. Because you want to focus on your subject. For instance, this ring. When you get close and you zoom, oh my God, you can see the ring like that. See? It doesn't do that. It goes all blurry. I I put my hand behind it like people say, oh, work. And their autofocus goes in now. Well, the ca camera was zooming, but it was like, got worse and worse and worse. So anyway, I'm back on this. I don't know how long I have, so we're going to fix it. My husband said he was going to buy me one. He's really mad that I'm mad because he doesn't like happy wife, happy life, you know, that kind of stuff. Anyway, these were items were in a big tangle yesterday, and I just picked them up and put them over there. So I untangled them. So I'm going to show you what they are. I have to take a breath because, oh, I was I saying some bad words. Anyway, this is a gold tone necklace. It's very lovely. It has a big half moon bar, I'd say, or crescent moon. And it has a chain up here, and it's from Express Limited. I don't know if they cut ties or not. Just Express. Lobster claw clasp. Nice extender with a bead. And then it has these, sorry. Then it has these things, these little crystals. These are smoky, like gray charcoal. Look how nice and focused this is. <laughs> and then a little um, faux jersey. Well, no, it's actually little tiny rhinestones. My goodness. I thought it was a jersey. Wow. Then a little triangle. Then more crystals. They're gray, the charcoal gray color. Then this really long chain down here. And then another rhinestone uh, disc with rhinestones and then this lovely I think we saw this last night but it was all tangled up remember I said real gemstones don't come with AB so it's probably a piece of quartz that they've coated it with AB but it's really pretty anyway this will be three dollars and I wouldn't put it with any of my jewelry I would hang it just like this Otherwise, you're going to get it tangled. I'm going to hang it up on the neck over here so it won't get tangled. Okay. Then this one is another multi-strand one. And this is this thing. I showed you one in the tangle. This star thing. Or maybe it was another piece. I'm not sure. Been a long day, folks. Uh, lobster claw clasp. And it has silver tone. It has stations on one strand. So, let's see, three strands. Then it comes to this. Sorry, this thing is stuck. What in the world? There. Wait. I could do it. Y'all really like that um, surprise box, huh? So did I. That's pretty, pretty stuff. Okay, and then the dangles. They're the blue um, acrylic 
they look like lapis, but they're acrylic. And they're little upside down chair drops, pear shapes, whatever you want to call them. But it's a very long necklace also. And this would be $3. I'm going to put it in two here, but I don't want to get it tangled. And then this one, I think is where I left off. It has a beautiful crystal on the extender. It has a extender with a lobster claw clasp. If I can get it open. Two um, strands. These have stations. They're like bugle beads, but they're not metal. And then this beautiful color crystal. And I thought that went with that other one. That's how tangled it was. I guess this is backwards, right? And then this lovely leaf with rhinestones in it also. And this will be $3 also. I'll put that right there. Then this necklace was in that mess too. It's Charming Charlie. It's silver tone. It has a nice uh, extender with a little bead on it. Lobster claw clasp. And it has these really pretty stations come on man why you do that they're really look at that they look like um cat's eye they're gorgeous they're a deep blue this is another color if you have sapphire like this we'd be going on a cruise in our own ship and it has matching earrings this set will be five bucks okay okay they show you this one this is the bracelet because it was a mess. This is has a. This is not real druzy, but it's cute. If you take a loop to real druzy, you can actually see the points, the crystal points sticking up. I'll bring out my amethyst. I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen geodes. That's a that's what a druzy is. Piece of, the rock is, the host rock. Okay, you have a host rock. It's like a boulder. And you crack it open, and if it's amethyst, it'll have white and then purple crystals. It's a purple quartz crystal and then the white quartz. The heat got to the center and changed it purple or yellow for a citrine or whatever color coat you want. But this is real pretty because it has crystals. They have AB on them or metallic AB. Then this has, uh, it has metallic really pretty and this works just three bucks in the bracelet department this is a pop-up what kind of is that a yorkie oh sorry is that a yorkie he's so cute with lavender uh, acrylic beads on a stretchy he'd be a dollar and this is a, a wooden earring hopefully we'll find the other one um, okay. This is from World Market, I think. You never know. This has little tiny, um, rhinestones dangling in front of this design. It's a metallic disc, gold tone, and it has, I don't know if they've painted it on here, if it's a decal, what. These are cool ear wires, and it's gold tone. This is a doll. Well, we won't talk about that. Why am I talking about earrings? Let's put it in the pile, Dennis. Hope y'all are doing good. I'm catching up on my orders. I'm sorry about people that missed one, a uh, couple of things on the real pretty lot, but some people, you know, saw it and they stayed up late and caught it when it first came out. I had stuff coming in in the middle of the night. I mean, in the, like right after it came out, as soon as, and it wasn't, it wasn't that long of a video, I think 27 minutes and stuff was gone. <laughs> So, I'm sorry, but there'll be more, I promise. This is really pretty. These have several tassels on it. And it's a white, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you make your own. I thought this was, mm -hmm. there's a clasp, okay? All right, there is a station right here. Okay, it is a wide necklace. My bad. Then you have these two really long strands and with tassels. This has three, and this has three, but they're uh, asymmetrical. 
so they're not even. They're real pretty. And that's that chain that was really, really sparkly and has teeny tiny little um, metallic uh, beads on the end. They're like, they're a charcoal gray also. This will be $3. And then this one is the same thing. Okay. Only this one does not have the lobster claw clasp. So, ooh, this looks like ruby. The good stuff, ruby. This is ruby red. I think they're acrylic. I can't be sure. I think they are. It's cold in here because it's cold outside. In Florida, no less. This has, well, it's almost the same. It's not really. This has tassels on the end, and you can make your own Y on this, you know. Just fold it, throw it over your, put it around your neck and wear it like this, or tie a little knot and make it like this. But this is very pretty. I love it just for these crystals alone. Good grief. They match my rubies. <laughs> they look like Indian rubies. This one, this is head pin that got bent. Anyway, this will be $3 also in the necklace department. Okay, so remember, Izod, watch. I have no clue. I know Izod's big. This is a mesh uh, band. It's very nice. It's very heavy. It has all kinds of complications. Complications are these things right here. It's nothing else. It just does stuff. Um, I don't know if there's supposed to be a stem in there. I have no clue. Maybe five bucks. But, uh, you know, I don't know about watches. I like, I have little watches because I have little wrists, but this is a nice watch. Okay. This is the earring. Oh, look, this matches that broken one that we had that somebody bought. But it has this. Oh, no. Ha <laughs> ha, fooled me. It's a spring ring cloth. I thought it was two jump rings. Okay, so these are paper beads. I've become familiar with these. And these look like sea glass. These are glass right here. This is a glass bead. It has little bubbles in it. Then these look like sea glass cause, or sandblasted. Then these look like glass also. And then it has this, this is a glass bead in the bottom with foil on the inside. This is a very pretty peridot color necklace uh, on the, these beads right here. This would be $4. Then, ooh, okay. So this is a bolo. Looks like there's two. Is there two? Well, looky there. Okay. So this has a barrel clasp, so it's not really a bolo. This is nice. Okay, see this? All this leather work, this is real leather. Here's the top. It has acrylic beads right here. These are acrylic. I am not, these used to look like metal, apparently. They're acrylic also. Sorry. Then they have all this leather work. And there's your bolo and some fringe on the bottom. This has wear. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. But you can take it apart and use it for something else. Um, I think I'm gonna put this one in craft, see the wear, because it's just too beat up. But the craft bag is getting full and I found another one in another box because I was searching for something. I looked everywhere in every box I had. This one, is not as worn. This has glue on it though. I don't know why. I guess to keep it from coming up. Okay, so this has a, a barrel clasp also. It's real leather. It's a blue color with white acrylic beads and these haven't lost their silver look. There's your bolo with the fringe on the bottom. This would be $4. Okay. And these are cowrie beads. Uh, hello, smack myself. Cowrie shells. Very popular in jewelry in Florida and probably all coastal regions. This is like a rainbow color. Uh, I was looking for something. That, I'm sure there, there was a knot in this at one time and then you just put this like through for the holder. So um, this will be a dollar. 
These are real. This is being $3. I'm so sorry. Here is a little earring. I'm putting it in there. This is a textured silver tone bangle. Hey, um, while I got you guys here, I'm going to ask you, do you know, a uh, dollar, do you know if I can sign into my YouTube channel, I have, I'm signed in on my TV, on my computer, and on my phone, that doesn't work, right? My phone is filming right now. Could I sign into my husband's as well and then film on his Samsung? It wouldn't take up space. Is that possible? Does anybody know that you can be signed in to like four devices with your YouTube channel name? If you know that, could you please answer? Anyway, this is Armatron Sports Watch. Water, water resistant to 165 feet. It is working. It's rubber, rubberized, but it's working. Look at that. This is five bucks. This is a really pretty thing. What are you doing? Okay. And there's an earring stuck. I'm watching the time. I apologize. To, if if you guys can answer me and I can sign in on my husband's, he said go for it. So what I'm scared of is if I sign in on his and then YouTube goes, oh, that's not you, and knocks me off everything, <laughs> I would have a heart attack. So if you guys know, these are seed beads. They're very, this is clear, and this is a beautiful blue color seed bead. It has black um, cording on that side and then blue cording on the clear one. Mm. And this is just a beautiful picture. Can you see a little bit of the glass or resin? I think it's glass. It's in a bezel and it says KC, Kenneth Cole. Very nice. Three dollars. This is a hematite heart necklace. <laughs> it's really cool. Ooh, and it has a pearl clasp. It is not gold or anything, but it's very nice. It looks like it's never been used. Yeah, this hematite would be three to three bucks. Good grief. Okay. Here are some pearls. This is a bracelet with stations to hold them in place, not flop around. There's three stations. It's still kind of lost that stretch a lot. This would be a dollar. Okay. This is, is this arrowheads or is this, or arrow or something? Yeah, that weld broke right there. I don't know if that's two pieces or if it cracked and somebody fixed it. I believe this to be handmade by like not a company. You can see right here where they mushed uh, metal together. Can you see that? That's a word, mushed. <laughs> this would be $2. You know what? I'm going to test this sucker. I haven't tested anything. It's probably copper, but... Hey, you know, over here at this station, we try, right? It's not even scratching. Good grief. Let me see if I can do it this way. That sounds better. Eh, I don't know about that. See these? We'll see. In uno segundo. Okay, there's this one. That one. And that one. Nah, I think it's some kind of mystery metal, aluminum, and aluminum, because it's not blue at all. Okay. So, did I tell you it was a dollar? <laughs> Two dollars, whatever. It's handmade. You know. Gotta give a guy credit, or a woman. Women make better jewelry. This is brand new. There's a curb chain. There's a brand new. It's stainless steel. This is an ID bracelet. This used to be the thing back when I was in school. If you got your guy's ID bracelet or if you got him a present, you got him an ID bracelet. And this even opens, you see. Like a ah, insert 
It's an insert style clasp. Okay, that's how you get in and out of it. Some of them back in the day, the lid used to open. Don't know what for. Put secret notes in there. Who knows? Anyway, this would be $4. This is heavy and sparkling. Okay. Oh, I had one of these before, but it wasn't on the card. Iron Orchid Studios. Replaceable battery. Cool. From Hobby Lobby. This is so cute. It's a watch. It's so cute. They wanted twelve ninety nine. I want two dollars. Okay. I'm being the necklace. Necklaces. This is. Is wow. Oh, I love this. This is so pretty. This is all enamely. That took my breath away. This is brass color. Look. <laughs> This is brass color with beautiful rhinestones. And there, um, what's the name of fool's gold for crying out loud? It's this color right here. Fool's gold is this color. All right. Uh, yeah, pyrite. There it is. Came right out my mouth. How you understand the words are coming out my mouth? That's from Beverly Hills Cop 1. Anyway, yeah, this is acrylic, silver tone, lobster claw class. It shows a little bit of wear up here. All necklaces do, if they've been worn and they're not a precious metal, then they're going to be worn up there because, oh, because that's where you wear them. You wear them this, your neck, your neck sweats. It's two, two three strands of this shiny uh, necklace stuff. Oh, these look like little crown. No, you know what it is? It's a bead cap upside down. It looks like a crown. That's cool. But this is gorgeous right here, my friends. Four bucks. All right. Then, if anybody knows a reasonable camera, if I have to trade this camera in, this, whatever that piece of junk is, this thing right here, if it really has focus, there's no camera on God's green earth that doesn't have focus, okay? My telescope has focus. My binoculars have focus. The scope of my rifle has focus. Everything has focus. My phone has focus. I mean, my dad's brownie had focus. Everybody know what a brownie is? It's a kind of camera that was a box you look down through the top. I mean, come on. That's insane. Anyway, this is a brush gold. Real pretty. Has a, a extender with a bead. Lobster. Uh, clasp. This is fake highlight. Oh, wait a minute. Ew, this might be real highlight or glass because it's cold. Colder than it should be. These are little, this strand right here is the mashed one, the hammered one. Then these have A, B all over. It's really pretty. And it's three strands. Uh, $3. I was going to say, this is a price tag. No kidding. A mom is an angel with invisible wings. Now, ain't that the truth? And this is by Gans. Ugh. That's pretty. I'll, I'll price it later with the stuff over there. Oh, look. See... Hematite is magnetic, so this is sticky. Well, we can tell this isn't silver. <laughs> this is... Oh, man, I should just rub that around and get all the beads, right? Duh. Okay. What is that? Okay, so... Uh, this is really large to be a bracelet. Me thinks it's a... Maybe it's a man's bracelet. I didn't even think about that. Because hematite, hema, hema, globin, hemo, anything hema, hemo, is blood. Okay? I don't know how they named it, but that's the derivative of this. So that's what's named. That all things that start with hema, hemo, is blood. So this is good for your blood circulation. It's magnet, magnetic. So anyway, it'll be $2.
in the bracelet. There's a leaf. Does it got something? Is it real? <laughs> no. I don't. That's a pretty ring, though. I'll tell you what size it is. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Seven and a quarter. And I'm not going to tell you. The price is a dollar, but normally I do rings and all that stuff after. After. My little friends in Philly, in New York, in New Jersey. Hi. I can't figure this out. I'll untangle this mess and show you what it looks like. There's the clasp. And who is it by? Who's this? This is somebody. Looks like Medusa or what's that guy? Who's that guy that uses Medusa? A uh, Medusa. He's Italian, of course. I love his person. Is it Ferragamo? No, it's the other one. Uh, well, there goes my brain. It got fried by a camera. Okay, so maybe this is the way it goes. Okay, yeah. This is gorgeous right here. This looks like... Nah, it's acrylic. Looks like glass with foil in it. Tell you what. These are beautiful. They have AB on them. And all these little dangles have AB on them. They're gorgeous. Some are solid and some are... No. No, they're, they're translucent. And then there's some... Looks like hematite or gunmetal right there. This is a beautiful necklace. That's five bucks. I don't know that signature or whatever that was. Is a silver tone straight, well, silver full pearl for a dollar. I don't know what this is, okay? But this looks like a bracelet. Now, I had a thing like this the other day, and it said patent pending. And then, how, what? Okay, so how would we get into this? Does anybody know? I'm serious. How do you get into this? There has to be a funny thing that's going to happen. And you can put your hand in here, but these are not even hot. Uh-uh. Okay. This is a trick bracelet. <laughs> I don't Tell me how to get into it. And we'll discuss it later. I don't know what it is. Okay, great. But I saw one that was like not shiny or anything. This is really pretty, but since I've been seeing paparazzi step up their game, this probably is paparazzi. I would bet you. That's two bucks. This is a very heavy cable chain with a lobster claw clasp, silver tone. But this is a very pretty faux. So, okay, see that? It's acrylic. It's it's not a rhinestone because it doesn't have foil. It's acrylic, but it's making it look like it's a real stone, okay? So whatever I said, if I didn't say a price, tell me, Denise, you didn't say a price. I, I said two dollars, yeah, okay. Look at this. This has to be an A, this is something. Okay, I'm gonna find out what this is. It says H N. I'm going to find out what it is. This is gorgeous. I think this goes as an anklet. I got to see how long this is because this is really pretty. Very dainty. But. What the heck? This is 10 inches. Uh, not for any ankle I know, unless, well, mine, when they're swollen. So maybe it's NH, eh? Is it NH, uh, uh, no, nah, this couldn't be uh, Avon, could it? I don't know. If you know what NH is before I find out, will you let me know? 
Because this looks like, well, this way it's finished. I don't know. I don't even know which side to put it on. Okay, all oh, these are earrings. These are beads flopping around. This looks like a shell that's been carved. Look at that. A fish. Look at him. He looks like a, a grouper, right? That's his mouth, right? And there's him. A big fat grouper. Ah, I never saw a ring like this before. That's so cool. Oh, it's plastic though, not a shell. They painted it to look like a shell, stinkers. And this is a nine, right on the money. He's cute. Okay, I'm at 30. This is gonna have to be the last one until I figure out. If anybody knows if I can use my husband's phone and you email me tonight, I'll come back and we'll do serious filming. If I won't get in trouble by you know who, okay? And they won't lock me out. Okay, this is brass tone. These are copper, uh, copper seed beads color with it. Okay, this is just a little bit different, but it's shiny. It has like um, snake skin or whatever. And there's five strands. That'll be three to three bucks. One more. What's that? A baby ring. Okay, I'm done because I don't want to blow it up. I don't want to get locked out of my phone. So, if anybody knows if I can sign up with my husband's phone, let me know. Please email me, okay? All right? I love you guys. Don't forget to smash the like button, share, and subscribe. I'm going to fix the camera either way. However I do it, I'll do it, okay? Love y'all. Good night. Ciao for now.